Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fixing Arsenal. In today's episode we are going to be facing Partizan Belgrade in the second leg of the Europa League first knockout round and we're also going to have our very first final in charge of Arsenal in the League Cup against Chelsea. We've played a few games since the last time we met the first of which was a home victory against us, uh, Chelsea. Chelsea were one of the teams who beat us away from home so to get a victory in the return fixture was very very satisfying. Alexander Lacazette, Matteo Guendouzi and Everton with the goals. Next up was a 2-0 away victory against Crystal Palace. This was a hard fought victory. Uh, Palace actually played pretty well in this game and it could have went either way. Lacazette was injured for today's game so Gury started up top by himself and he got himself a goal in the ninth minute and Everton doubled our lead in the 60th minute despite us being down to 10 men from the 20th minute we managed to hold on and got the three points. Hugely, hugely disappointing result here at home against Norwich the first time we have dropped points all season at home and this was just an awful awful game. David Luiz had put us in for 20 minutes in but Ben Godfrey got the equaliser in the 61st minute and it's two points dropped. Next up was the first leg away from home against Partizan which we dominated and won 4-1. Lacazette, Everton, David Luiz and Ruben Diaz getting his first goal for the club. And finally was an away tie against Brighton which we won 3-0. Kieran Tierney, Alexander Lacazette and Nicolas Pepe with those goals. So that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We sit top of the table Liverpool got beat again I can't remember I think it was Bournemouth beat them 4-1 absolutely unbelievable stuff so Manchester United have suddenly appeared as second place in the table we're only two points ahead of them three points ahead of Liverpool but 10 points ahead of Manchester City so with only 11 games to go in the Premier League it is all heating up and despite losing Aubameyang we are still in charge so we are 4-1 up after the first leg so we don't need to play the strongest team possible but this is how we're going to line up. Burnt Leno and Guam, Malqui, Socrates, David Luiz and Kalasnac at the back. Thomas Partey in the defensive midfield role with Matteo Guendouzi in the centre. Reese Nelson on the right hand side, Everton on the left. Mesut Ozil in behind Guri, who's going to get the start today. Partizan didn't really cause us too many problems in the first leg and it looks like they're playing pretty much the same sort of system in this leg. We are at home, so I am expecting a dominant performance. We might be a little bit complacent, the boys, um, obviously having that massive advantage. But let's see how it goes. First highlight of the game is a Mesut Ozil corner. David Luiz goes down in the box. Is this going to VAR? It is. The referee trundles over to the screen. Listen, it's a, it's a game. Let him teleport there. <laughs> we don't need to see him running to the VAR screen. But he takes a look at it. And what is he going to give? David Luiz will probably end up taking this penalty as well. Or Nicolas Pepe. And it has been awarded. It is David Luiz, the winner of the penalty, who steps up to take it can he put it away and put us 5-1 up on aggregate 1-0 up on the night David Luiz's seventh goal of the season from centre back is nothing to sneeze at now he does take a good number of penalties so that boosts his stats a little bit but still he's been fantastic for us this season another highlight now 25 minutes in it's Arsenal coming down the right hand side this time and Malqui receives the ball after a beautiful pass and Everton's there back post he's already got seven goals for us in about eight games or so he has been absolutely fantastic on that left-hand side so far. And it's a good bit of play by Gwen Doozy here. To, uh, it's not it's Thomas Partley, sorry, who slots that ball down the right-hand side for Malqui. A great cross back post. First time finish for Everton. Nothing the keeper can do about that. This is becoming a little bit easy. Another highlight now. Reese Nelson with a free kick. It's back post to Socrates. And he goes close. Another highlight now on the left-hand side. This time, Kalasnach with a throw in at Thomas Partey. Mesut Ozil gets dispossessed though, but David Luiz gets his head on it and there's no break for Partizan as Malqui comes down the right-hand side. Ball played in a Guri. I would love to see him score some goals today. 43 minutes in now, only a couple of minutes left of this first half and Partizan might have themselves an attack here, but they give the ball away sloppily to Klasenac and Everton can break for us. A lot of space on this right-hand side. Reese Nelson takes advantage and goes for goal. It's a comfortable save for the keeper, let's be honest. And that's it for the first half. Arsenal 2, Partizan 0. Absolutely delighted with how things are going. We're playing pretty well, uh, especially with a weakened side. And Partizan are not really proven to be too much of a challenge. 10 minutes in the second half and we have our first highlight. It's Socrates with the ball over the top for Guri who brings it down beautifully. Reese Nelson in the box past his man. Goes for the back post and misses it by inches. Another highlight now. It's a free kick for Partizan. They hit the bar and go close here. The ball is still in the box, though we can't get rid of it. And Bibar's Nacho gets a goal for Partizan, making a 2-1 run on the night, 6-2 on aggregate. 
Let's not panic. There's only 23 minutes to go. There's no way Partizan can get back into this. I am very confident in our boys. But um, it's a little bit disappointing to lose the clean sheet. But it is what it is. Arsenal 2, Partizan 1. Only 13 minutes or so. We will look to make some substitutions just after this highlight as Kolasinac brings it down on the left-hand side. Back to party. A lovely little triangle there between party Ozil and T.A. Kolasinac. And that is one hell of a finish. Siad Kolasinac gets his fourth goal of the season after some great work down the left-hand side. I can't... We'll say this again. Kolasinac, party and Ozil with a lovely triangle of dreams finding that little bit of space for Kolasinac. And this finish is unbelievable. Strikes it into the roof of the net. The keeper can't do anything about it. 3-1. With 10 minutes to go, we'll look to make our subs. Kolasinac can come off for Tierney. Ozil can certainly come off for Emil Smith-Rowe. And we'll look to get Everton off as well. We'll bring on Nicholas Pepe on that uh, left-hand side and switch him with Reese Nelson so they're a little bit more comfortable in their roles. Only four minutes to go. Tierney gets dispossessed on the left-hand side by Suma and they can bomb down their right-hand side. He beats his man. He gets into the box. Great challenge by David Louise. But Leno, <laughs> that was... Uh, that was a little bit iffy and that that re that was why they showed a highlight because Bernd Leno almost let that go into the bat in the net but it wasn't a B Arsenal 3 Partizan 1 7-2 on aggregate we are safely through to the next round in the Europa League and here's how the rest of the lineup happened for the first knockout round Did we, I thought we skipped the first knockout round maybe not maybe I'm wrong um, any major characters in here Borussia Dortmund are obviously going to be a big challenge Man United got knocked out off PSV is absolutely perfect for us and other than that the big boys did they enter in the second leg um, from the Champions League I'm assuming that's what happens anyway uh, the draw for the next leg is in a couple of days so we'll say that live just before the Chelsea game and here is the Europa League second knockout draw let's see who we get Lazio we've avoided they get Roma two big side there I will take Elias here the get final Galatasaray it is going to be Galatasaray so we are away from home in the first leg against Galatasaray who's the major players still left in the competition it's basically Dortmund the Italian sides are obviously going to be difficult Lazio and Roma are decent sides particularly Lazio especially on football manager are very very good um other than that Porto Wolves have caused us some problems already in the league this season but other than that the Europa League is looking pretty open for a victory here our first final in charge of Arsenal is today. It's against Chelsea and this is how we are going to line up. Burnt Leno in goal. Malqui starts today as Bellerin is suspended. Ruben Diaz, David Luiz and Kieran Tierney complete the defence. Callum Chambers has to come in in that defensive midfield role as Guendouzi and Thomas Partey are both suspended. Uh, Lucas Torreira remains in the centre of midfield. Nicholas Pepe, Mesut Ozil and Everton are in behind Alexander Lagazette. Chelsea come at us with a 4-2-3-1. They've obviously got a very good side themselves with N'Golo Kante, uh, Tammy Abraham, Ross Bartley, Willian, Tamori, Rudiger. Um, it's a standard Chelsea side. There's been no major signings there. I do expect us to win. Um, we dominated them in the home tie in the Premier League. We did get beat in the away tie, but on neutral ground, I favour us. First highlight of the game comes two minutes in. We are on the attack, but Kante nips in and dispossesses Everton and sets away Tammy Abraham with a great ball, but David Luiz is equal to the challenge. We work the ball forward beautifully with Kieran Tierney on this left-hand side. Lacazette in the box, back out to Tierney. It slows down our play a bit, and Ross Bartley can manage to get rid for Chelsea. Callum Chambers down it. Oh, what a through ball that is for Everton, but our final product hasn't been great during this highlight so far. But it's not over yet. Torreira switches the plate to Malqui on this right-hand side. Gets past his man. Gets the ball back post. Everton. Everton. It was an open goal. And he misses. Willian with the free kick for Chelsea. Goes for goal. Bernd Leno spills it. Thankfully, Jorginho with the touch of an absolute madman. Kicks it out for a goal kick. Tierney though for us. Tomori manages to get rid for Chambers. And Chelsea ends up winning the battle for the ball in the middle of the park. And Willian can maybe break. Can't hear. Over the top to Tamori on the right hand side. Tammy Abraham knocks it back to Tamori. You thought he would have went for goal there. Comes back to the keep going for goal. We managed to get rid. Nicholas Pepe with a head on. Jorginho keeps the ball alive though for Chelsea. And bam, pff, great highlight. Loved it. We are not playing very well in this game. We are going to have to change things about to try and get um, back into this game. We're going to go to a shorter possession. Stop running at the defence so much. Hopefully be able to retain possession a little bit more as Chelsea are dominating it at the minute. As Ross Bartley comes down the right-hand side, 25 minutes and whips the ball in. It's to Pedro, it's to Jorginho. Just wide. As you can see by the... Well, you can't say it now because it's gone. The match starts are very much in Chelsea's favour. 
but they haven't managed to make uh, take advantage of it yet as Pedro boots it long. We, oh, Mal oh, I thought he'd give possession there away. That is absolutely fine. Chambers switches the play beautifully to Tierney and he's deep lying playmaker role Chambers. He doesn't know what he's doing with himself. Tierney with the ball in. Pepe back post. So, so close. Hits the woodwork. 43 minutes in now. We're on the attack again, but Willian manages to dispossess Chambers. Torreira, though, keeps the ball alive with Malqui to Ozil. Tierney's got so much space. We need to find him every single time. And he, there he is. Willian's not tracking him back whatsoever. And he gets a ball in. Nicolas Pepe is there. As long as that's not offside, we are 1-0 up. Nicolas Pepe with his 18th goal of the season. Another great bit of play by Kieran Tierney, who's had an absolutely brilliant season so far. He's always in that pocket of space on the left-hand side that's vacated by Everton. And he's doing absolutely wonders with it. And that's a great cross. Pepe can't miss from there. Chelsea nil, Arsenal 1. Now, Chelsea will feel a little bit aggrieved at going in 1-0 down, but they haven't took the chances, and we have no changes required. I'm relatively pleased with how things have been going since we changed to a cautious team mentality, and we'll see how it goes for the second half. With 20 minutes remaining, absolutely not a lot is happening in the second half. Here's our first highlight, 72 minutes in. It's Malqui on this right-hand side, plays back to Torreira. Again, Tierney, look at the space. If Chambers can find him, he tries to... He gets to him. Tierney plays the ball in. Nicholas Pepe hits the woodwork again. Is that our third woodwork hit? I'm not sure, but we could have been 2 or 3 nil up here as Mesut Ozil is to take the corner. It's played in. David Luiz almost against his former club. With only 15 minutes remaining or so, we are going to get Malqui off uh, Alex Maitland-Niles, who we don't see very... Uh, Alex. Ainsley Maitland-Niles, who we don't see too often. We'll bring on Emil Smith-Rowe on that left-hand side for Everton. And Mesut Ozil is going to come off for... No, no, he's not. We're going to save our final substitution just in case it is necessary. Um, we might end up going extra time here. You never know. As Maitland-Niles gets the ball, plays about the Chambers. It's an absolute suicide ball. And maybe that might prove to be our undoing. Uh, taking Malqui off for Maitland-Niles. As William comes down the right-hand side, plays the ball in. Hits the woodwork himself. Uh, Taney boots clear. Nicholas Pepe comes down this right-hand side. Lovely little through ball for Alexander Lacazette. And he can't get his goal a day. Unfortunate. And with only two minutes or so remaining, we will now make that change. Mesut Ozil comes off for Reese Nelson in behind the striker. And there's a highlight two and a half minutes to go. Mason Mount comes down the right-hand side for Chelsea. Lovely little ball down the line for Giroud. Um, David Luiz stands him up, but he gets dispossessed. Tamori to Willian. Please get rid. Leno, oh, he flops at it. What's happening? David Luiz clears. And hell, we haven't conceded there. I have no idea. But that is going to be that. Chelsea nil, Arsenal won. We get our trophy. It's only the League Cup, but it's certainly a start. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And here we have the things coming in. Medals for the League Cup win. We did promise Everton we'd win some silverware before next season. So we've completed that objective as well. Uh, we are being praised by the board, even though they couldn't have given monkeys about the League Cup if we go to the club vision. They did not care. Not important. But I I thought it was important to win um, a domestic competition. We need to bring glory back to Arsenal. And even a little bit of it coming through the League Cup, that will do for us. In terms of the next episode then, I think we will come back and play. We'll play Everton and Galatasaray. Uh, hoping that Galatasaray might be a bit of a formality. Everton, I think they gave us some problems in the away tie. I did think we still won, but I think it was... No, we didn't. We drew against Everton away. Alex and Wobby, I remember now. Um, so we need some revenge against them. And also the Galatasaray game, see if we can make it to the next round of the Europa League. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.